Hello and welcome to Bo Beats. So in this video I just wanted to show you my little living room live setup that I've been using. This is a setup I pulled together when I want to jam somewhere outside of the studio. The living room is a really nice place, there's nice lighting, it's also more spacious, but perhaps not as good for my back sitting in the sofa. So let's go through it. The main hub is the Novation Circuit. The circuit acts as a sequencer and sound module. It sends MIDI through its MIDI out and also clock to the Korg Valka keys. The Korg Volca keys receives MIDI on channel 1 and outputs sounds into the sound card. The sound also goes through the reverb, it's a Hall of Fame reverb, so I can do some live mixing with the reverb. Also connected to the circuit is my iPhone 6 Plus running the Model 15 Moog application. The iPhone is connected via USB to the circuit and receives MIDI on channel 2. So basically, I have Synth 1 on the circuit sending MIDI to the Volca and Synth 2 sending MIDI to the Moog. What I usually do in this kind of setup is that I use Synth 1 with the volume lowered to nothing. So when I play a sequence over on the circuit, it only plays the sounds from the Volca keys. There's no actual sound on Synth 1 coming out. But over on Synth 2, I often have a sound, and the sound from the circuit is blended with the sound from the Model 15 app. This is because on Synth 2, I often have a pad or some kind of lead, making it a lot fatter. But on Synth 1, I often have a bass of some sort. For basic drums, percussions, as well as some vocal loops, I have the four channels here over on the circuit. Now everything is routed through my sound card and the sound card isn't actually recording on the computer. I record through the sound card onto my Zoom H2. This is because it's a much easier process than having to set up a DAW inside of my laptop, which I don't really use for music production. So this is sort of the basic jamming setup I got going at the moment. It will probably change in the future. This is just something I bring out to jam. I can highly encourage it. It's a lot of fun, you know, try to mix and match. And you often come up with different sound ideas or song ideas than you would in your regular studio. So, I hope you enjoyed this little video and I thank you for watching.